Yeah, so we've got Scout. Scout's a two-year-old English Springer Spaniel. So Scout's job is to basically help us locate uh, natal fox dens, so those inhabited fox dens. Scout worked very hard on the beach. We're at the Springs Beach today. We've noticed a fair bit of predation in um, turtle nesting beaches. One of the main contributors have been um, foxes. They predate on our ground nesting birds, um, our turtle nests as well. Some people don't realise they're an introduced species. Yeah, so foxes were originally brought over here in the 19th century for fox hunting. So they were imported from the UK. They've obviously adapted very, very well to the Australian landscape. So we've got lots and lots of small mammals here, which they love. So the foxes, you know, they play a massive, massive role in risk to vulnerable native species. And as an introduced predator, um, Certainly in Queensland, everyone's got a general bias because the obligation to control fox numbers and, and manage the populations. And they're identified as a feral pest under the Biosecurity Act, and we have a general biosecurity obligation to control these pests. Particularly looking for the turtle nest predation, we'll take them along the beachfront. He'll then pick up the track of a fox, track it back up to where the den is, and then he'll indicate to me. So there's a number of different techniques we can use for culling foxes. Um, the, the, one of the most effective is fox den fumigation. So if he can find us the den while there's cubs in the den, then we can actually go and fumigate that den with carbon monoxide. And that's a very humane way for the cubs to go. So when they're young, it's basically the carbon in the smoke simply binds to the, binds to the hemoglobin in their, glo in their blood and puts them to sleep. So it doesn't suffocate them or anything like that. They just quietly go to sleep and, uh, and pass away. And so doing this sort of work is vitally important, both to the, the general biosecurity obligation of making sure that foxes are controlled in the, in the landscape, you know, to protect vulnerable native species, but even more particular down by the beaches to actually make sure that uh, some of the endangered turtles that are, that are nesting, you know, on these beaches here um, have got a, a good chance of survival. I mean, foxes will go down there and if they find a nest, they can, they can wipe out an entire nest quite easily. Yeah, so if we can stop them doing that, then much better result for the turtles. We are finding a decline in the population of turtles we have in Australian waters. Any nest predation where the hatchlings aren't making it out to sea, it's vitally important that we work on eradicating um, coastal fox predation. If you um, spot a fox in the coastal area or any tracks or any footprints on the beach, if you could Go to our website and lodge a report. Any photographs or any GPS coordinates you have with that um, sighting would be great.